So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can build an AI agent that's able to brainstorm topics for a blog, take this topic, do research about it, find relevant material, facts and figures, things of that sort of nature, bundle this up to generate a blog that's written in your writing style and your tone, then it's able to generate an image to accompany this blog. And once that's all done, it can repurpose this content for a LinkedIn post and get that all prepared and have a system in place where it's able to generate unique blogs every single time with an Airtable system set up. As you can see here, this is built on make.com um, and this is very, very cheap. All you will really need to pay for is um, tokens. So OpenAI tokens and Perplexity tokens, but they are extremely cheap. Um, you can build this on a free make.com make plan and a free Airtable plan. So essentially this all starts with, well, first of all, I should probably say who this would be helpful for. So basically any type of agency, e-commerce companies, SaaS companies, any business that has a blog or posts blogs, this will be extremely useful for. Um, and we're gonna be using this, we've already sort of used this for our own agency. We haven't actually posted any blogs yet, but we've kind of got a big bank set up of all of our blogs that we're going to be uploading. So this all starts on OpenAI with an assistant. So what you want to do is you want to load up OpenAI and create yourself a new assistant. You want to give it a name and you want to choose the best model for this would be 4.0, 4.0 mini, because it's incredibly cheap and this thing will burn through tokens like nothing before. So as you can see, there's lots of OpenAI modules this is going to eat through your tokens because, you know, especially ours, because look how long the prompt is. So this prompt, all the tokens, maybe 8,000 tokens per uh, request. But with GPT-4, I forget the price, but it's extremely cheap. So do not worry about that. So what you want to do is you just basically want to prompt this assistant and give it loads of information about your business, your keywords, give it information about your writing style, give it a rule, give it all of this information that will allow it to write high quality blog that's human like um in my case as well i've told it to write it in british english because i'm from the uk trained on our keywords um so this is the task background your overarching task and role is to write blogs for efficacy ai which is our agency why to improve our website ranking and loads and loads of information you these are some linkedin posts of mine um so it understands my writing style it's able to mimic that when it's actually generating the blog um i will put this in the description so you can kind of get a better idea of how to prompt your assistant because this will probably take quite a bit of time um to get the whole prompt there so here here are our keywords and we've told it to you know kind of discreetly include these in the blogs and just loads and loads of information some final details um so yeah once that's set up you also want to go to Airtable, create an account, it's completely free, and then uh, make a new table. And I've just added post idea, so it's able to come and search, look for the most recent post, and make sure it's different to that. Date of creation, just to keep on top of things, and this is the repurposed LinkedIn post. So here is an example of what one of these will look like. This is just one that I ran earlier. So this is the idea that it's chosen future of work how ai is reshaping careers and creating new opportunities if you want to pause it and have a read there you can go ahead but you get the idea very very different to what chat gpt would output feels like a human's written it it also kind of feels like the humans used a bit of ai but i mean every blog you can tell if you you couldn't find a blog that you would think okay that was not written by ai so i wouldn't worry about that and as well it will generate an image to go along with that blog so once again, let's check out the future of work. So this is related to the future of work. I've already actually uploaded this image. So here it is. You can see how that's relevant. This is done all automatically with uh, DALI 3, which is great. So on make.com, you want to basically set up um, the first module to be Airtable, which is to search records. So you want to search in this table to see if there are records in the post idea and then whatever that is, you want to get the record so you can actually get what the idea is. So once you run this one, this will find out if there are bundles there, which there are. If you have run it before, of course, if it were to run here, it would find these. And then it will um, get what the content of those records are. So we could put it into OpenAI. And what we have here is this is just the, the we are asking this assistant to generate us blog topics and ideas. So as a blog and 
copywriting expert Finley from Efficacy AI needs your help to create an idea for a blog post. And then these are some of the criteria: revealing and helpful tool, revealing helpful tools, AI trends and innovations, uh, the future of work, AI and business operation, technical posts, that kind of thing. So it will randomly choose from one of these kind of um, broad topics and then uh, make something up related to it. So um, what was th what was that example? It was the future of work, yes. So it had randomly chosen that third one. How AI is reshaping careers and creating new opportunities. So, so it'll, it'll create ones. I don't know what has just happened there, but okay. So it will create ones that are similar enough to that sort of sub predefined category and then it will research that they're trying to find you know facts and figures and it will do that using perplexity so you want to set up a perplexity model and choose an online model because an online model has search indexing so it can basically search the internet and find real up-to-date information you can't do that through um open ai uh, through the api you can only do that on chat gpt <laughs> So what you want to do is just say, I want you to do research on this topic for an article, for a blog. Find four to seven points related uh, to this of real world examples. Get me facts and figures to go with it. So when you're prompting perplexity online, you want to try to oversimplify things. Don't prompt it like you would prompt GPT-4, O, GPT-3.5. Do not prompt perplexity online models like that. You can prompt the um the chat models or the instruct models like that but do not prompt the online models because these aren't designed they're, they're a lot more stupid when it comes to kind of conversation so you just want to be really really blunt and it will it will work better if you were to go in and give it a load of, give it a role and give it examples you know just don't do that just, just be blunt and be clear and you want to set it as the the user uh, and low token or well medium tokens and a low temperature so now you have a blog topic that's unique because you've checked your air table um, to make sure that you haven't done it before. You've got a blog topic and you've also got material and information that is you know, up to date. It's gone and done research and found this from the internet. So now it's time to actually write the blog and also sometimes perplexity online can play up. So you just want to add an error handler. Uh, well, I've already got one there. So if you hit add error handler, and you can hit ignore so if this fails it will just run and you don't need to worry about perplexity playing up because sometimes it can so this is the prompt that i've used to actually generate the blog um, and because we've done most of the prompting in the assistant you can just be really really simple you're writing a blog for efficacy ai here's the theme of the blog and then that result is as you can see this here kind of starts highlighting which means we're um, inserting this variable so you want to use this topic to write a blog. Here's some additional information and material to help you write it. Do not overuse this. And this is the choices and the, the message content from Perplexity's output. Remember to follow your instructions clearly, take a deep breath, and write me an incredible blog in British English. So by actually telling it to take a deep breath, the outputs are so much better. So I would recommend doing that. And it's really, really simple. And you're not using a lot of tokens in doing that. So now you have got your, your blog generated. And depending on how much sort of example text that you have written, you provide your assistant, the better that its output will be and the more human-like it will sound. I haven't done an enormous amount because I don't have an enormous amount there. And I'm not really up for just sitting and writing a load of stuff to feed into this model. But it's good enough at the moment that, that you know the more the better you train your system the better you train your assistant the better your blogs will be it's as simple as that and then what we have here is i just have a slack notification being sent to our general channel just to let the team know that we have a blog and that one of them can put it on if, if i'm busy or vice versa and then we have a set variable so basically this just gets the date and the time so uh Variable name, date, and the variable value is now. This is just a variable that you can see in um, the, the calendar one, now. So if you hit now, that just gets whatever date uh, and time it is at the time of running. And you create a record in Airtable. So if you remember, at the start, we were searching for recent post ideas in our table. And this basically cr creates a record. So this will add that blog in the air table. So the next time this runs, the blog that's just been generated will not be copied. Very, very simple. So this just 
if it loads. Yeah, so record, post idea is the chat GPT result and date of creation is the date. You can see there's a lines here. And then what we have got is the image generation. So I've also added an error handler here, just in case Dali is playing up or you run out of tokens or whatever, because you don't really need an image, you know, like let's say for example, if the module that's creating the topic for the blog, if that doesn't work, then you're not gonna have a blog. But if the image doesn't work, you're still gonna have a blog, so it can just run anyway. So that's the whole idea that's going on there. So this is a prompt, which I th this is the one. Yeah, so that we're, we're prompting our assistant to write a prompt about the post. So this is a blog written by Efficus AI, and we're just feeding in the, the prompt that's been generated before. You were to think of an image to use as the blog main image, the blog heading image, or thumbnail for the blog, whatever you want to call it. Once you have an idea, write a detailed prompt for an AI image generator to generate it. Do not write the prompt prompt in blog slash Finley writing style. Only output the prompt, nothing else. And then this is a generate, well, I should probably zoom in on that, generate an image module from OpenAI. So you want to choose DALL-E3 and the prompt is literally just what's been generated here because that will be custom to your blog. So now you have all of your, um, your blog topic has been generated and it's um, went and got real-time information about this topic that's been bundled into a blog. Now your image has been generated to go with the blog. Now it's all being neatly, well, not really neatly, but all just put it fired into one Google Doc, like what we can see here. So we just have the blog and then the URL is below. So if you want to go in, you can easily just make changes to this. Um, I don't know what happened there, but whatever, you get the idea. I must have um, accidentally pasted something in. And then this is just a Gmail module that lets me know that a new blog's been created. So literally just new blog in case I didn't get the Slack notification. And then what we have here is just OpenAI is, or the same assistant that we use. So this is a messaging assistant as well. It's just you are rewriting a blog for a LinkedIn post for Finley. So we just feed it the blog and then we give it kind of a basic structure. So your steps are as followed. Rewrite the title of the blog and change it to a catchy hook. Consider using rhetorical questions, using secrets instead of things, using basic LinkedIn tips, LinkedIn tips. And it will repurpose that blog. Excuse me. Uh, here's a blog to base your content off. Some final notes. Very, very basic stuff. And it will put that output back into our table. And then we can see it here. So here's an example of the LinkedIn post. Unlocking the secrets, five ways AI is transforming your career right now. I think it's a little bit overboard with the emojis, but I mean, that doesn't really look like it's AI. Hey folks, let's chat about something that's buzzing everywhere. The future of AI. Yeah, so you get the idea. The whole goal of this is to make it sound as human as possible. And that's the whole, that's the main idea of it. Because the more humanized your blog sound, I think the better they are. Obviously, you don't want the blog to be bad. You want it to be good, but you don't want it to sound like AI because that's going to be very, very unattractive to people visiting your website. So that's a really simple example. I mean, I haven't went too overboard with how much information I fed into my assistant. If I did, and the blogs, it just gets better and better. It's like this kind of exponential growth thing. The more um, text you provide your assistant, or your own text, your writing style, and tell it, this is all of my writing style. Use this mimic this when writing my blog, then you're gonna get much better results. Uh, but those results are pretty, pretty strong. I mean, I think that passes the checks for not being some sort of like AI rubbish blog. You know, it's getting um, 375 million people by 23, 40% of the global workforce. I mean, it's getting real time facts that are actually good and useful from the perplexity module. For example, surgeons are now using AI powered diagnostics plans. You know, ChatGPT can't do this through the open AI. You can't automate things like this unless you actually have it going research, you know, information for the blog. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I said, this is really, really simple. This is all done on make.com um, with about five pounds worth of credits. We'll, you know, make this last for a month. And we do not want this running every 15 minutes because we will have no tokens left in about half an hour. So you just want to put this days of the week or whenever, you know, you can go Monday or, or Thursday, whatever time you want. It's nine o'clock right now. So this is the default time that it's chosen. But yeah, this was a basic sort of like a follow up video from the first video I made, which was showcasing five best automations and agents for digital agencies in 2024. And this is one of them. 
and I thought it, we kind of had like a really really basic outdated version so I thought I would improve this and show you how useful that this can be um, you know it kind of highlighted how we have been slacking on our blogs so we will definitely be using this and I will be improving this and I can make another video whenever we actually are you know fully using this for our agency so yeah I hope that was useful and if you have any questions just comment and I will uh, get back to you and I will put the prompts in the description so you can throw them in and customize them thanks